Okay, so what's going on guys? Today I thought I'd give a review of this box set of uh, the Lord of the Rings series. The Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit. Uh, if you go on Amazon, this is usually, or at least in my case, the first uh, uh, box set to come up of the series. So I figure a lot of people would probably want to know uh, is this worth checking out? Is this, is this the version that they should buy? Um, so this is going to be my review of this box set. Now, uh, I think if you're looking for a cheap set, this is definitely the way to go. I've only read The Hobbit and The Fellowship of the Ring out of this box set. I'm currently working on The Two Towers, rereading that. Um, it's got pretty cool artwork. That's the Two Towers artwork. That's The Hobbit. I like this outer box or whatever you call this. Return of the King, Fellowship of the Ring, and then just barcodes and stuff on the bottom. Uh, one thing I don't like about it is after you've read the books a bit, they're they like absorb the moisture in your hand or whatever and get a little bit thicker as books tend to do and then they're a lot harder to squeeze in they don't quite fit in as the way they should when you first bought it um, here's the Hobbit it's like yellow if you want my opinion on these books I think this is the best book series ever created I can't pick a favorite out of any four of these, so all four of these ties my favorite work of fiction of all time. And then, like, Dracula would be number five or number two or however you want to say it. Um, Return of the King. Right here, I'll show them the order. So we got The Hobbit. It's got Smog on the cover there. The, the Misty Mountains. Very cool. Fellowship with the Gates of Moria. I'm kind of used to the old Peter Jackson DVDs, so when I associate uh, Fellowship with the color green, so it's kind of weird to see it in red, but you know, it is what it is. It's still a cool cover. Then Two Towers, which I'm used to being red, is blue. It's got the Two Towers on it, of course. Very cool cover. And then the Return of the Cream. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Return of the King. Which is, you know, the best finale to any fantasy, anything, and maybe the best finale to anything ever. So, fantastic book series, but, uh, yeah, they're mass market paperbacks, so if that's not your thing, I'd definitely say don't go for this, uh, this box set. But, uh, I think they're really well made the way they are. The covers do feel kind of cheap, like they'll fall apart fast, but this is a fairly inexpensive box set, so I don't think you'll have much of a problem with it for the price. Uh, that's about the font size. I don't know if you can see it so well. That's the font size of a Hobbit. And then they squeeze a bit more words into the actual Lord of the Rings copy but it's nothing too out of the ordinary for a mass market paper bag. I think they're about what you'd expect if you've read any mass market paper bag copies of Lord of the Rings. This is the uh, about the size you'll normally find them in. Um, so if you're just if you haven't read the series and you want to get it on the cheap, I definitely would recommend this box set. If you're looking to upgrade or replace your old copies, I would go for something a lot better. Um, personally, I'd go for that like three-in-one illustrated edition of the Lord of the Rings that they got, and then I'd get the illustrated The Hobbit. If I ever buy more copies, those are probably the ones I will go for. Uh, which I haven't seen them in person, so don't uh, quote me on that. 
I think Daniel Green has reviews of all those. Maybe not the illustrated, uh, The Hobbit. Uh, Mike's Books Review has the illustrated Hobbit, though, and uh, it looked really cool in that video. But anyway, yeah, pretty good box set. If you haven't read Lord of the Rings, you want it on the cheap, definitely check it out. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys.